for something interesting. What do we got here? What we got here is Vavum I, I don't Vodka. Think, I don't think you're saying it right. I think it should be Vavavum. Vavavum. Yeah, Vavavum. Va, va, this is a Laverne and Shirley here. So the bottle, which you only see a bit of it because it's so tall, it's so tall, is is handcrafted or crafted in Milan. The vodka, though, I believe is American. I think it's made, uh, it's 100% corn. Vavum Vodka is a gluten-free, five times distilled premium spirit. The artistic, handcrafted bottle makes the vodka perfect for a unique and thoughtful gift or to stand out beautifully on the top shelf of a bar display. Vavum's vodka flawlessly depicts the company's message to be beautiful, be you. That's it. Be yeah, beautiful, I, I, be you. I don't look like that. I don't look like that either. I don't know anybody who does. But do you want to know anybody that does? I wouldn't be opposed to it. Should we do a little reveal? I think well, you should. I think you should. Maybe gentle. Gentle. It's okay, so that if you can see it, it is the picture of a rather voluptuous and shapely woman. I don't know who she is. Is this like the Venus de Milo? It is, is like the Venus. looking at here? It's the Venus de Milo. And interestingly enough, there is a little bit of a... Uh, a little tushy? A little plumber's crack <laughs> there. A little plumber's tushy. crack. So it's a beautiful bottle. I mean, it's kind of cool the way it's done. I don't see any. There's a seam on this side here, but it kind of goes along the side of the bottle. I have no idea how they make this. I was going to say, was it hand-blown, but I guess maybe pieces of it are, or maybe it's patched. Uh, I have no idea how they do this. It is, it is crafted, though. It's, it's quite cool. a nice bottle. It's cool. It's very tall, though. It's so very, very tall. if this were on your bar, it would have to be bar. with like the Galliano and yeah, maybe I think one, of so. those, one of those odd wine bottles. Now, this is a one liter bottle. A one liter bottle. A one liter bottle. And it is 40% uh, ABV, like most vodkas. I don't know of any like high proof vodka nah, you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know really about vodka. I don't know either. So I don't know what the stuff is like. I don't really drink a whole lot of vodka. I don't really drink any vodka, to be honest. Um, Just nothing, the cocktails. Nothing against yeah. it. I have nothing, you know, personal against it. We've had a couple that were okay though. Hmm? I think we had the one was it the Berenson or no? There was um, I can't remember. There was a vodka we reviewed a while back, and I think it was Russian, and that was pretty good. It actually, had some flavor to it. Yep. And I tried another one. It was like a Polish vodka that had some kind of bison grass, and that was kind of interesting too. It was like herbally. Yeah. That was that was that was okay. Yeah. I didn't mind it, but generally it's like eh, you know, vodka, you know, it's like eh. So. I'm going to pour some of this fun stuff. Let's see how it is. The bottle is impressive, though. And it's funny yes. because there is a photo that my parents have in the house, well, that my mom has in the house now, um, of a woman who looks kind of like a, like a Gina Lolo Brigida or a Sophia Loren. Okay. And she's, like, hugging a tree. And I'll intersperse the photo. And this and is what it reminds that's me what of. That's you think of? Sort of, yeah, sort of. And it, what's funny is, I was remember that that painting was also in A Clockwork Orange. Okay. So it's some kind of famous thing. And someone, this guy Mally Grabson, or Gravison, he's a, a fine Scott. Him and his wife had the same photo. They same posted photo. a photo of them. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Cheers. So, skull. No. Skull. Skull. Well, it's actually American vodka. Nostrovia? So, Nostrovia. 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 So, I mean, it's clear as clear could be. For sure. When it smells like nothing. It smells like nothing? Which is good, because it's vodka. It's not supposed to smell like anything, right? Well, you know, like, then it smells a little longer. Well, it has a little hint of alcohol. It has a it, little... It has a... A little vapory. It's a little bit, but it's... But it smells clean, is what it smells like. Yeah. But I was getting almost like an herbal note from it, though. Yeah. I mean, it does have a scent. It doesn't smell like rubbing alcohol. No. No, 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 no. Now again, not my thing. I like things that are a little bit in the barrel. So should we give her a name? You think she's a Gina Lola Brigida? Sure. You can call her Gina. Sofia. How about Sofia? Sofia. I know. Maria Grazia Cucci Cucci. <laughs> now what's the, uh, the uh, Valeria? Valeria Galina? She's Valeria Galina. The one that was in Valeria. the Rayman? Yeah. No, she's more of a Maria Grazia Cucci Cucci. Cucci Cucci. <laughs> did you ever see the Coach Fan? Cucci Cucci. Or did you ever see O Postino? Yes, I saw O Postino. Her. Cucci Cucci. Maybe it's like because of the corn. You're getting like that little bit of sweetness to it. That's a, that's a nice finish. Easy drinking if you're a, a vodka sipper. Yeah. I think this goes down pretty easy. You know what? It does have like that, but it does have that kind of corn. Yeah, thing, like it, has corn a, it has a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of an herbal note. Yeah. I mean, again, not something I'm going to go crazy for. But, well, again, I, I, we're not big vodka drinkers I, by itself. 
I think you would certainly cocktail up with things that have well, like in. Just so you know, so. And, and you know, it, it, when you go through the the beginning credits, the, the uh, what do you call it? Not the credits, the intro. The art intro. This is a pretty shiny package in review, yes. not a tasting at the murder table. Yes, it is a pretty shiny package. It is pretty shiny packaging. Now, do they make this in a 750 or just in a liter? I don't know. So I'm does she sure. seem smaller? Should in, be in the in the 750 bottle? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I assume they take it off. They take it off the base. It's like her younger sister. Yeah, there you go. I, I have I can't rate this because I don't know enough about vodka. It has a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah. Where you can tell you're drinking alcohol, but it's a very clean finish. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's I think okay. I could put a little lemon in this. Be a nice sipper. I'm minute. sure it's a fine cocktail. And I bet you could cocktail this up with that just about anything. Sure. I well, it's vodka. Vodka yeah. goes with anything, yeah. right? It's it's grain neutral spirit, yeah. practically. But I think it's the corn sweetness. Like you almost you get a little bit of that. You replace uh, any recipe with gin with this, right? Is that what you do? No, it's different because gin. Well, gin is flavored vodka essentially, right? Yeah, but I just mean like if you're drinking wine, you know, you can vodka martinis, gin martini. You go back and forth. I suppose. Whatever. I suppose. So I'm not going to give it a grade. I think it's about the packaging. I'd give the packaging an A. Oh well, you know. It's pretty and shiny. It I is like pretty the packaging. I it's, think it's wait, wait, wait. It's not just pretty and shiny. It's pretty shiny and voluptuous. And I, I always give people kudos for putting a bottle together that's going to stand out on a bar shelf. Oh, it's going to stand out on a bar shelf. Just in and case you, know, you missed it, right? We had a, we had a, a liqueur called Pisa. Yeah, I know. That would be like the Frangelica crowd. And the bottle leans like Pisa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have a bottle like this. You know, you look at the... Yeah, it's very nice. Without I think my going people in, and say putting it in a Waterford crystal or in some other sort of bottle like the Louis Couture. You know, you don't go out there and put it in that kind of glass to look at it. Oh, look at that! Mm. It's just same effect. My people invented pretty shiny packaging. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. Aesthetic. I think you're right. Aesthetic. So anyway, uh, the packaging. I mean, it's kind of weird. Space wise, it kind of it, it it takes up a little bit too much room. Like, I can't get it into the regular cabinet because it's a liter. Well, it's a liter and it's right. tall, just right. because of the way the bottle shape. But shared. if it wasn't a liter, you'd probably take off three inches it would fit somewhere? Eh, maybe. Yeah. It might. It's taller than most any whiskey yeah. bottle we have. Yeah. Um, so packaging, I mean, size and, and placement is a little tough unless you have an actual bar. But it's, but, uh, they've really gone all out in the packaging. And uh, kudos to them. A little surprise is the screw top. Wow. But I'd say vodka. vodka is screw it's tops. Yeah. But, you know, I always like the cork. But yep. That's just me. But that's you. You want, that's you want the pop and the glug glug. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You get a pop. You just, now you get a you get a twist and a ooh la la, <laughs> or 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 a vavoom. A vavoom. Va or in our case, a va va voom. Va 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 voom. So anyhow, thank you to the fine folks at Vavoom Vodka for sending us along, and uh, yeah, kudos to the Cheers. <laughs>